lamas mm -hmm. are like students, apprentices. Okay. People who help are the attendants of okay. the lamas. Okay. And they help run these retreats. Oh, yeah. And they help run all the... Oh, yeah. It's like an intense sort of... Um, hey, uh, um, they, uh, they said, please park on the left side of the driveways um, to leave a path. Oh, um, man. Both, the gates to both will be open to leave a path for cars to exit. I got it. Let me go back out and run this. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and so they have these attendants and they have like like long term students, they've got translators, they've wow, got holy fuck. like this whole situation. They've got scribes. Oh yeah. Times. Holy wow. fuck. And so the point is is that all these people really revere these gurus <laughs> and um they wanna uh be around these people and this is a very good way to get like the deep exposure to these people. Okay. That yeah. they want. And so I think that like implicitly or explicitly, um like some echoes of that model mm -hmm. um, really would be beautiful for you mm -hmm. to what to the extent that they can be attained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just like learned that, in, and I also learned that it's like in some ways very hard to say like be married to a llama because mm -hmm. llamas are not celibate mm -hmm. um, necessarily. Um, oh, it might it might want to not have someone in front of the gate. Just the yeah. Okay. Um, so one thing I saw a spot. Um, 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 sort of like a few cars up here. Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Why doesn't Romeo have an entourage? Well, you know, you know who's a huge Romeo fan? Who? Is Igor Terzik. Okay. And wow. Igor Terzik had his sort of spiritual awakening. Okay. Partly prompted by a conversation with Romeo. Oh, yeah. And he was like already on a path, and then he had a conversation with Romeo. And okay. He flew into tripping sober for four days. Okay. Mm. Whoa. Tripping sober. Wait, because if, you have, if, you, if your brain is sensitive enough, words can actually make you trip. Right. And I've had that. Ha I've, Never tripped, but I've had that happen in, in I think. In yeah, the like, I think a sufficiently a brain with, like, sufficient agility in, in like, in, in creativity, like, um, n with with ability to move its different parts in just the right way can actually do that, just from a verbal description. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's like a trancey state. That's like, you know, it's like when Sonia gets when she reads Anne Rand, or when she was ki a kid, mm -hmm. or like, I mean, it, it's like the trancey state. That's what Lawrence Gunderson stated. Um, like he says, Isaac Newton often had trancey states. Yeah, it's and like some physicists also have these trancey states. It's I don't know why it's so rare, but it's like um, those should be cultivated, I guess. Yes, and Oyen Alex. Yeah. Who I think um, Oyen? We still should meet. Okay. Um, at some point, um, maybe even on the way back or something, we can give her a quick call. She's in Hawaii. Okay. Okay. Um, awesome. Um, she, uh, uh, she, she's one of the good friends I made in Hawaii who's oh, a yeah. really serious Buddhist. Okay, okay. And um, she's so sensitive. Oh, yeah. On all of these fronts. Yeah. I mean, she, in th that, like, you know, like little tiny energy things will okay. like, lead to profound, okay. profound ripples in her mm -hmm. system. And um, it's like the entire Buddhist tradition is around cultivating that sensitivity. Okay. So you can get all the insights of psychedelics. Okay. About Needing to hit yourself with a sledgehammer. Oh, sledgehammer. Psychedelics sometimes aren't like sledgehammers, those sentences they allow increased precision for some minds. Yeah. I don't know, like there are some people who like experience instantaneous, like extreme changes of psychedelics. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they do that, but sometimes they, they're like precision or like precision of just math links. I don't know how they do it. Sudden okay. Okay. Versus gradual enlightenment. Okay. Oh, sudden alignment. That's like taking a heroic dose of shrooms, but go on. Yeah, and there's a Kundalini awakening experience. Okay. Which is like a related thing. Okay. So, uh, oftentimes, these sudden enlightenment experiences lead to psychosis. Oh yeah, I've heard that with Vipassana can. That's why Vipassana can be dangerous, really dangerous for some people. Yeah. So people with like Yeah. 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 So for most people, it's gradual enlightenment. Okay. So interesting. In, in this yard, I guess. Um. Well, I'm gonna take a picture. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, like I know someone who healed all his trauma from the past two years with five meo. He, he did what after that? Five meo healed all his trauma. Yeah, exactly. And then also for other people, like EMDR therapy for two years. Two R, two years. Damn, damn EMDR. Yeah. 
actually, by the way, if you pause the recording for a second, okay. I'd like to share something. Okay, okay, cool.